All right, let me break it down for you in detail about gold in the Intel i386DX CPU, which, you know, came out in the 80s and 90s. The Intel 8386DX, often just called the i386DX, was one of the first 32-bit processors introduced in 1985. Now, during that time, CPUs were packaged with ceramic and gold lids for durability and better conductivity. Inside the i3086DX, gold played several key roles. First, we have the gold bond wires. These are very fine gold wires that connected the silicon die, that tiny chip inside, to the pins of the package. Gold was used because it doesn't corrode and has excellent electrical conductivity, ensuring reliable high-speed signals. Then, we have the gold-plated pins. Now, many i386 CPUs, especially the earlier ceramic dip or PGA packages, had pins tipped or plated with gold. This helped prevent oxidation and ensured a stable connection with the motherboard socket. And third, some models came in a ceramic package with a gold heat spreader or cap on top. That visible gold surface is real, though thin, and it also helped with thermal dissipation and protection of the die. Although the actual amount of gold in i3086DX is relatively small, usually less than a gram per chip, the combination of gold wires, plated pins, and the visible gold lid made these CPUs valuable in electronic scrap recovery.